Here's how to replace the CMOS battery on a PSP 3000 motherboard. It's located right here and can be a bit of a challenge to deal with based on how the pads are set up. This going bad or bulging can result in your motherboard not uh, being able to keep date and time setting as well as cause other issues if the battery dies if you're using like a generic battery typically. So to remove it first you can't really use a hot air machine, so, and you can't really solder it off easily, so you kind of have to just pry it up from the bottom lightly, because there's like some tabs. So you just take, stick a flathead in there, just slowly kind of work your way around, kind of nudging it up. You just don't want to rip the pad off. You'll kind of hear like a pop once you get one of the points lifted up. Like that, and kind of bend it up a little bit. And then you have to pry it off from this side. Working your way around. that's off now you can either use uh, if you have a hot air machine this part will be a lot easier but you have to remove the pieces right you have to remove these two metal pieces right here you can use a, a soldering iron to work them off but it's gonna take longer so I'll, since I have a hot air machine I'm just gonna do that you don't necessarily have to have a board holder but it just makes it easier and it's also better to remove this. It's not necessarily important, but uh, you can just set aside if you still want to use it later. Or set it back on. Now if you're using a hot air machine, I like to use, or set it to 655. And if you happen to have a hot air machine, you can replace the components nearby that might have gotten a little discolored. I don't necessarily know if these can be related to the problem, but uh, if you already have it off and you have a hot air machine, you might as well replace the, those components. But the source of the issue is mostly going to be the battery or the CMOS. This motherboard doesn't work anyway. Then once you have it off, you can so you can get yourself one of these uh, CMOS batteries on AliExpress, or I'll have a link to it at my website in the description or a pinned comment. And then for the orientation, you want to have it the same as it was before, where you have the this corner on the right side. And then given the, how it's gonna have to go on, it's not gonna look the best based on that, uh, well, I can't get it that close. So it's easier to put a little bit of solder on the underside of the pads and make it stick. Then it's typically easier for me, at least, if I start on the right side. Where you have to melt the solder a little bit. I'm just gonna have to move down there quick. Try to push it down a little bit if you can.
So that's mostly good enough on the right side. With the, the goal is mostly just to get it to work. And that'll end up working fine. You just have to make sure that you don't um, touch these other two uh, pads right here. A little bit hard to see. But like these two pads to the left. You just don't want the solder to kind of overlap into these two points. But that's how you replace a CMOS battery. It's not all that pretty, but it'll do the job.